Teachers of Reddit, what are some positive trends you have noticed in today's youth? Nerd geek culture is more accepted. At my school they are the ones with the largest friend groups. I feel like nerd geek culture will dissolve and being a nerd will become the norm as technology advances. I wouldn't be surprised if that whole term was growing pains and us as a culture mentally adjusting to the rise of technology. University teacher here, my students put in way more effort than I did at their age. Granted, the system has pushed them in that direction as well, but they typically have a better idea of where they want their career to go and are willing to put in the effort to obtain that goal. By comparison, I and my cohort mucked about a bit more. Students are not afraid to just be nice to each other. I teach elementary art and it is so nice when a kid who is pretty unskilled in art show another kid their work, and instead of getting laughed at, like when I was in school, kids are just so sweet and will say things like wow, I really love that. I hear kids telling other kids I think your work is beautiful or I really like your ideas and I just think of when I was in art kids made fun of my work. In general I really don't see kids being bullies. As much as they were when I was a kid. I went to school in a really nice district too with few problems but I was bullied. Kids here have a much worse home life than kids at my old school and while they could choose to take it out on others, they don't. Kids help each other too. They know if a student is special and will try to help that student out. They'll offer to walk them to the bathroom, or help them with their drawing, or very politely tell them to be careful with things. I'm 27 now but in elementary, one of my best friends was kid with Down syndrome. His name is Sean. Super cool guy and the nicest person you would ever meet. I introduced him to my other friends and he just clicked with our group. We had sleepovers and his parents always thanked us for including him and I remember my friend, Ian, who was the most hesitant to befriend Sean, telling the parents Sean is one of us, no worries. I remember the dad getting emotional after that. Anyways, Sean is now married, we were his groomsmen, with a diploma and works at Walmart as a greeter. Love that guy. Edit, thank you for the gold. First time I have gotten it. My GF is a teacher and she is amazed at how uncool drinking and driving is. Kids are like that stupid you will kill someone. They literally make fun of kids who do it. In my day everyone drove drunk. Very positive change. They seem generally kinder to each other, especially to the kids who are different. When I was in school, the kids who didn't speak English as their first language, or were a little quirky or had disabilities were either avoided or viciously bullied. Today that seems to be the exception rather than the norm. They may be kind, but German children have always been kinder. I worried about my son, who has mild autism, for the first 10 years of his life. I kept telling him that middle school would be hard, kids would tease him, etc. And that high school would be even harder in the same respect 15 years ago, I would have been right. Fast forward to now, and I'm constantly amazed and grateful for how well he is treated. Even the jock kids and big snotty idiot kids who would make perfect bullies are inclusive, kind, and even sometimes protective of my son. I've told all of them how appreciative I am, and even got a few of them Christmas presents this year. Love those kids. Edit. A few people are doing the math. My son is 11 and I'm 30. He's not in high school yet, but he will be there with the same kids he is in middle school with, so I feel confident about it. Edit 2. My first gold. I'm not even a teacher. This was actually a huge thing when I was in high school several years back. There was one particular kid in our school who had autism, but was actually one of the smarter students, especially history for whatever reason, and everyone was super cool to him. Jocks let him participate in their sports, even going easy on him just to see him be happy. They even lined it up so he could play during a football game. Not an actual game but two schools in town participated and it was a full length game, just not part of the season or whatever, popular girls would talk with him even giving him their numbers to talk with him outside of class, one even took him to prom every year. Nerdy kids would play video games with him in between. Classes and after school. People would always have a seat for him in the lunchroom, wherever he wanted to sit even to the point of like arguing no come sit with us and stuff. He was invited to participate in pretty much any school club he wanted, and overall was just super welcomed by everyone. 
If anyone even had the balls to try to make fun of him you were pretty much blacklisted by the students it was super uncool to be even mildly rude to him. In many ways, he had a better high school experience than I did and honestly I wouldn't have it any other way. I was super happy to see him flourish the way he did. High school teacher here the most admirable quality of the rising generation is their ability to take anything and I mean anything and turn it into a meme. And quickly, my god. Meme culture is basically just clothing fashion on hyperdrive. It takes an entire season for the latest in clothing to change. That time frame turns in two weeks for memes. Sometimes days. My daycare kids are much more likely to wash their hands than my generation was when we were their age lol. Kids are so much neater now, once they're about 8 or 9. They pick up after themselves, are sort of organized, and don't litter when they can help it. I've even had kids at work that couldn't reach the trash can so they'll come up to the counter and hand me their trash. I'm not a teacher but my GF's mom is a teacher and it sparked a dialogue. With the dawn of meme culture, kids are getting competitive with comedy at an early age. When I was a kid, I had undiagnosed mental health issues so I was bullied a lot, and the only thing that kept me alive was developing my sense of humor. Sad as it is, young people have a pecking order and cliques, but a few things can transcend those boundaries and one of those is humor. Coincidentally, I was into internet humor, meme culture, and PC games way before my peers were. Wanna hear something crazy? I was bullied for that. Specifically and mercilessly. If you ran a meme page and had a nice gaming PC at 10 today you would be a god. It's honestly made a lot of kids that don't fit and have at least something in common with their peers. All you have to do is yell Fortnite or whatever meme is going around that week and boom you have a friend. I had one time where I was able to make friends like that and that was when Pokemon came out, similar concept. You might think that kind of stuff is cringe or annoying or stupid, but if it can prevent someone from wanting to kill themselves at 12 like I was, I'll allow it. Of course I don't need to have it anywhere near me, but that's a different matter. I'm a senior in high school and I completely agree. There are people in my classes who argue all the time and don't get along but when a meme is brought up, everyone in the class, including them, gets along. It's really weird. You can make a joke based on a meme and people in completely opposite groups will understand. My best friend is doing student teaching, and her students are in 7th grade, so about a 10-ish year difference between her and her students. That's something she talks about a lot, that her students all participate in some level in meme culture and that there's no weird kids like there was when we were in middle school. Like if you're the kid who likes anime. You can talk about it with your classmates and they don't make fun of you because they treat it like talking about any other normal interest. It's just amazing to me, and I wish that's how it could have been when I was younger. They are generally independent and self-reflective. When I first started teaching I thought I had simply lucked out getting students who were consistently bright, engaged and curious, but having now taught at three different universities on two different continents. It seems to be a general trend across universities. They are also, as noted elsewhere, generally kind and empathetic, and both my male and female students are usually pretty emotionally mature. Like and subscribe for more daily reddit videos.